Okay, welcome back to Hangar 51. We're going to do a little flight on the uh, the uh, X-Fly J65. So uh, this should be a good nine, at least a nine minute flight. So let's do it. Here we go. Okay, so the call out was minus 13, which means I'm 13% below half throttle. And she's just scooting along just fine. Beautiful, just a beautiful flying jet, guys. Yeah, just can cruise all day long. Just beautiful. I don't know what this looks like in the sun, guys. I'm sorry about that. I don't have the glare shield on the, on the camera. So. And I'm not looking through it, so I have no idea what that looks like. But I'll try to keep it out here where it's not so glary. Let me go out there. We'll come right back around. Kind of try to stay out of the sun. Let me go out this way. We'll make a low pass down the runway. It's just a little breezy today. Not bad at all. Very, very nice day. I don't have my speed telemetry, but I can tell you it's doing about 65. All right, and that's why I'll be able to get such a long flight out of it is because this is plenty fast enough and it's flying like a business jet. That's what this is. It's not a sport jet. It's not made to do loops and rolls. It's made to fly gracefully and that's what it does. Oh, back in the sun again. Let me get out of there. There we go. That should be better. Just a beautiful flying jet, guys, I'm telling you. I have some, uh, I have quite a few jets, right around 20, I think, and this is the most graceful of them all, for sure. Now, I have my, uh, I, have, I, I am running the gyro that came with it. I have the gains very low. Um, on the on the knob, it's uh, right around two o'clock, two thirty, um, which is not a lot of gain. I don't have it over over gaining. I am not using the safe part of it. Um, just you know, just the stabilization. I do not have the stabilization on the elevator, only on the rudder on the aileron. And uh, this is how it flies. It's just beautiful. Just a beautiful airplane. Just a beautiful airplane. So 
So I'm getting a 3.8 volt call out because I lowered it, or raised it, I should say, uh, because these were new batteries, but this is so easy on batteries. Um, I'm, I don't need that call out anymore, so we're, uh, we're gonna keep flying. We got plenty of battery. You gotta remember that that 3.8 voltage is under a load, and it is a jet, so it's a decent load. So we, we've got a long way to go yet. So we're just going to keep flying. Um, just ignore the call out. Um, we'll probably fly it to like 369 um, and then we'll land it. And we'll be in the 37s for quite a while. It'll probably stay in the 38s for quite a while. Um, still at minus 13% on the throttle. So that's 13% below half throttle. Yeah, these these packs have quite a few flights on them now, so I don't I don't need that call out that low anymore or that high I should say. Let me fly it out here. Maybe that'll uh, stay out of the sun a little bit. We'll make a pass right down this runway here, over the fence next to the pond. Beautiful. Yeah, just a great flying jet. I, I can't even begin to tell you guys how good this thing flies. Man, if you want a nice flying jet, get one of these. And I would even recommend this as your first jet. As long as you're an accomplished pilot, you're not rushing into a jet. Don't rush into jets, guys. It, it, it's just you got to remember that this is this is just cruising at 65 miles an hour. If you were flying an Apprentice or an Aero Scout, it doesn't go 65 miles an hour. Okay, so things are going to happen a lot faster in a jet. And even though this is a very good flying jet, well behaved, it's still going a lot faster than your Aero Scout, and things are going to happen faster. So don't don't push it. Give yourself time to get good. But when it's time to get a jet, I believe they're still on sale for $4.99. It's an awesome deal for $4.99. Um, so I would highly recommend it. Um, but don't rush it. Okay, so my timers have both have elapsed, I believe, or maybe only the one, but. That was eight minutes, I believe. Um, so, and now we're in the three seven volt range, which is still fine. Um, but I'm probably not gonna push it that far. We'll go around a few more circuits and I think I'll land it. But just a beautiful jet, guys. What a good flying airplane. And you can see I'm still at 13. I, I don't mess with the throttle much at all. I pretty much set it and forget it. I just let it cruise. So now my second timer is about to collapse, and that's that one's based on throttle position. I don't really use that one too much, other than a reminder that you know I'm that far into the battery. Okay, so let's go ahead and land it. I'm gonna do a right-hand approach here. So coming around to the right, gonna land right to left. So. Uh, Go ahead and put the gear down. Gonna go half flaps here. Throttle down a little bit. 
full flaps on the final approach here and just fly it to the ground guys don't thrust it shut it off and glide fly it to the ground keep the throttle on and I hit the damn run the uh, ski jump <laughs> So yeah, it's it's a grass field and it's a little it's a little wavy, but yeah, just a beautiful airplane, beautiful, easy to land. Um, you know that wasn't a nose up kick off the nose gear. That was just I hit the ski jump and it just kind of rolled it back into the air. But it was another beautiful touchdown after that. So um, it's there's another that's another ski jump right there. See, we're sitting on an uphill. So if you hit that one the same as I did down there, it just sends you back into the air. There's nothing you can really do about it. It's just part of dry, flying off grass. So there you are, guys. That's that's the J65 in action. Let's see what the... Uh, I'm going to shut her up here. Uh, let's see what the final uh, time was. It looks like it's two... It's, it's three minutes past the clock. Uh, eight minutes so it was an 11 minute flight right at, right at 11 minutes um, so that's just awesome guys you know it, I, I can't I just can't say enough good things about this jet it's just awesome so that's it that's it for hangar 51 if you haven't subscribed please do so uh, comments at the bottom and uh, like me here on YouTube like me on Facebook and we'll catch you on the next review talk to you later bye bye